Welcome back sa ating uh, series of Let Reviewer for Math Majorship. So we will answer numbers 96 to 100. So please uh, take a screenshot before you watch the video. Okay, try nyo munang sagutan. Okay, number 96. Out of the 20 numbers, 6 were 2.5s, 4 were 3.25s, and the rest were 2.2s. Give the arithmetic mean of the numbers. Okay, so what is the formula for uh, arithmetic mean? So formula for arithmetic mean, so we have symbol uh, x bar is equal to summation of x over n. So all we have to do is uh, add all the numbers. So we have 20 numbers. So 6 were 2.5s, 4 were 3.25s, and the rest... The rest were 2.2s. So, ibig sabihin, meron na tayong 6, then 4. So, therefore, itong natira, ito ay 10 lahat ito. Okay, so give the arithmetic mean of the numbers. So, meron tayong 20 numbers. So, therefore, ang n natin ay 20. Pero para wag na nating isulat isa-isa ito, pwedeng i-multiply na lang natin. So, another formula ng arithmetic mean kapag ganyang nakagroup. So, pwedeng, uh, okay, so pwedeng gawin nating symbol uh, n sub 1. M sub 1 for parang min nung una. Kasi ginroop lang natin. So, ibig sabihin yan, ito yung 6, ito yung 2.5. Plus, yung pangalawa, so meron namang 4. So, let's say N sub 2, M sub 2, plus uh, N sub 3, M sub 3. All over N sub 1, plus N sub 2, plus N sub 3. Okay, so para hindi na natin isulat lahat yung 20 numbers. Kasi nakagroup naman siya eh. 6, 4, and then, and then 10. Okay? So, parehas lang din yan ito sa mission of x over n. Okay? So, sulat na natin. So, multiply lang natin. So, we have 6. 6 were 2.5. So, 6 times 2.5 plus we have 4 times 3.25. Then, plus yung natira 10 times 2.2 all over... So, i-add lang natin itong mga number 6, 4, and 10. So, 20 na nga rin yun. Okay, so we have 6 plus 4 plus 10. So, therefore, we have. So, multiply lang natin isa-isa. 6 times 2.5. So, that is uh, 15 plus 4 times 3.25. So, that is equal to 13. And then, we have 10 times 2.2. So, that is equal to 22. Over 6 plus 4 plus 10 is equal to 20. Then, we have... 15 plus 13 plus 22, so that is equal to 50, divided by 20, so that is equal to 2.5. So the correct answer is letter A, 2.5. Okay, so next number, 96. A bag has selling price of 60 pesos. So ayan, so selling price, 50 pes uh, 60 pesos. So sulat na natin. Selling price is 60 pesos. If the selling price uh, is 75% of the original price, what is its original price? So let's say original price, ilet natin the original price is equal to, let's say it's equal to X. Then what is the original price? Okay, so ang sabi, ang selling price daw is 75% of original price. So our equation will be selling price Is, is ibig sabihin ng equal. So, selling price is 75%, 75% of the original price. So, 75% of X. Okay. So, let's substitute. So, uh, selling price is 60 equal 75%. So, that is 0.75. And then of, ibig sabihin yan, times lang yan. So, 0.75X. So, just solve for X. So, divide both sides by 0.75. So, therefore, The answer, x is equal to 60 divided by 0.75. So, that is equal to 80. Okay? 80 pesos. So, the correct answer is uh, letter A. Okay. So, pag chinak natin yan, 75% ng ayan, original price. Multiply lang 80 times uh, 0.75. So, that will give us 60. Okay. Next number, 98. The price of an item is increased by 70%. So the price of an item is increased by 70% and then offered a 40% discount. What happened to the original price? Okay, so dito pwede kayong mag-original uh, price 
kahit anong gusto nyong i-let na original price. Kasi wala namang nakasulat. So, any number pwede. Pwede ring variable, pwede ring x ang gamitin nyo, or, or any variable, pwede yun. Pero pinakamadali, pag ganitong mga hinahanap yung increase, tapos decrease naman, or baligtad, discount, tapos uh, increase. So, pinakamadali dyan, ilelet natin 100. Let 100 be the price. So, ayan, the price of an item. Para pinakamadali kasi yan, para nakabase na tayo sa 100%, madaling computein. Okay, so let 100 be the uh, price, original price natin, 100. So, i-compare i- natin yung nangyari after increasing uh, 70% and then 40% discount. So, what happened to the original price? So, dito natin ibabase sa 100. Okay, so first, increase natin by 70%. So, we have 100 plus 70% increase. So, ibig sabihin yan, 0.70 or 0.7 times 100. Ayan, kaya 100 ang ginamit natin para madali ngang ma-compute. 100 plus 70 lang yan. Dahil 70% ang 170, so equal sa 170. After yan, so next, offered 40% discount. So discount, so subtract natin 170 minus 40% nito. So 40%, so that is 0.4 times 170. So that is equal to 170 Minus ah point four times one seventy, so this is equal to sixty eight. So subtract na one seventy minus sixty eight, so that is equal to one hundred two. So ngayon ikompare natin original one hundred naging one hundred two. Okay, so nagkaroon siya ng increase of two percent. So kaya kaya nga 100 yung ginamit natin para madaling computein. So, sobra siya ng 2. Automatic, that is 2%. Kasi 100 yung base natin eh. So, increase of 2 peso, increase of 2 pesos or 2% pag ginumpute natin. So, that is letter B, increase of 2%. Okay. So, next number, 99. How much should Alan invest so that his money earns 2,250 deposited at 6% for 9 months? Okay? So, sa ganitong problem, hindi nakalagay kung compound interest or simple. So, automatic yan ay simple interest yan. Kapag wala namang nakalagay na naka-keyword natin para maging compound interest siya. So, yung 2,250, ito yung uh, earnings. Ano? So, how much should Alan invest? So, tinatanong kung magkano yung in-invest so that his money earns. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung interest. Okay? So, ang formula natin for interest ay equal sa PRT. Simple interest. So, I is the interest, P is the present value to or thing in invest. Then, we have R for rate and T for time. Time in years. Okay, so ano mga given natin? So, ang given natin, 2,250, yan yung interest. Okay? 2,250. So, that is the interest. Our rate is 6%. So, that is equal to in decimal 0.06. And our time is 9 months. So, therefore, convert natin yung 9 months sa years. So, 9 months convert sa year, edi 9 over 12. Okay? So, 9 over 12 years since there are 12 months in one year. Okay? Then, ang hinahanap natin ay present value P. So, just substitute natin sa given. So, we have 2,250 equal. So, ito yung hinahanap natin, P. Then, times R. So, we have 0.06 times 9 over 12. Okay? So, just solve for P. So, solve for P, multiply lang natin both sides sa 12. Ito, pwedeng ma-lowest term, pwedeng maging 3 fourths yan. Pero dahil pwede naman yung calculator, wag nang i-lowest term. So, in 12, i-multiply lang dito. So, we have 12 times 2,250 equals P times 0.06 times 9. Okay? Then, divide natin dito sa 9 times 0.06. Okay? So, para ma-cancel na ito. So, we have 9 times 0.06. So, yan na ang value ng P. Okay, so i-calculator nyo na lang yan. 12 times 2,250 divided by 9 then divided by 0.06 so magiging sagot nyo ay 50,000 pesos. So, 50,000 pesos which is letter letter A, 50,000. Okay? So, next, sa mga choices pala, pwedeng mag-eliminate na lang tayo, no? Ito yung interest, no? So, ang pwedeng choices na lang ay letter A and B. Kasi yung C tsaka D, maliit. So, siguro, ito yung answer kapag naging P, ang, naging P siguro ito, pag nagkapalit kayo. 
So obvious na A and B na lang pwedeng uh, pagpilian dahil mas malaki dapat yung ininvest kaysa sa interest kasi 6% lang yan eh. Okay, so last number. Number 100, uh, Dan sells a uh, real estate. He receives a monthly salary of 10,000 pesos plus a commission of 1.5% of his net sales for that month. Find his gross pay for a month during his net uh, during which his net sale is 1 million pesos. Okay, so ang total na sweldo daw niya, monthly salary niya ay, so ayan, so salary ni Dan ay equal sa 10,000 pesos. So we have, uh, so ang formula, salary ay 10,000 pesos plus 1 pip. 1 pip percent of the of his net sales. So given ang net sales niya ay 1 million pesos. So i-multiply lang natin ito sa 1 million pesos. Okay, so all we have to do is convert this to decimal. So common mistake dito, yung 1 pip, nawawala yung percent, kinoconvert lang. So ganito ang magiging sagot dyan, 10,000 plus convert muna natin sa decimal. So ang 1 pip, uh, convert sa decimal, divide nyo lang, 1 divided by 5, that is 0.2. 0.2 pero may percent pa rin. So yung iba, pag kinonvert, nawawala na yung percent, may percent pa rin yan. Okay, so ayan, isa-isahin natin ng step. So we have po, ngayon yung 0.2% i-convert natin sa decimal. Pag tinanggal si percent, move tayo ng dalawa. 1 2. So nandito na yung decimal point at tayo ng 0 dito. So magigising siyang point, may kakaroon na 0 sa harap, 0 02. Okay? And then times 1 million. Okay? So we have 10,000 plus ayan 0.002 times 1 million so the answer is 2000 okay pag nakalimutan niyo tong percent na i-move tinanggal niyo lang magiging sagot niyo ay itong letter D so yun yung trick doon so add lang 10000 plus 2000 so therefore ang total salary niya ay 12000 for that month okay so letter B okay so that's all so i hope na gustuhan niyo explanation ng 96 to 100 So, naka-100 na tayo. Aabangan nyo sa FB Group. I-upload ko tong file na to pagsasama-samahin ko. So, yung 1 to 100, then ilalagay ko ang link ng bawat bawat 5 items. Kasi nai-upload ko na to simula sa 1, tig pa 5 lang. Okay, so thank you for watching. Bye-bye and good luck sa exam.